guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I have another idea in my head. <laughs> a couple videos back, I did the uh, the floating bloom with the swipe background where I did the four on the 14-inch uh, canvas. And I've got a round canvas today. I kind of want to do something similar, but I want to do a transfer swipe kind of as the background and then the bloom in the center. So that is my idea and we will see how it pans out. So let's go get started. All right, I am going to run through all the colors we're going to use today first in the cell activator and then we will get started painting. So the first color I have, it is another new, this little piggy pigment that's going to be in the upcoming release, uh, Jul uh, January, July. I'm already waiting for July and the heat. <laughs> January 15th and 16th. 15th is the U.S. 16th Australia since they are basically a day ahead of us. I don't have the times yet but uh, this is called Athena and it is a rose gold type of. It, it, it looks rose gold here as a dry pigment and then I mean it does look like a pinky rose color with a gold undertone mixed up. I have this mixed up with my Dutch Boy Joe Sonia pouring medium. And the next color we have is a Praj Posse paint, knockoff iridescent shimmer. And that's what it looks like in the container. It kind of mixed up a little bit more on the coral peachy side for me. So I'm going with that, but it has really nice uh, subtle shimmer to it. This is my Valspar Verithane pouring medium and then I've got another this little piggy it's called fairy floss and that's what it looks like it's it's a nice bright pink color it does have some gold it, it looks like it has a gold undertone to it as well that's what it looks like mixed up but this is also my Dutch boy Joe Sonia pouring medium and then I've got another corally type color this is Matisse Fluid. This is Australian Salmon Gum and it's kind of a coral color but mixed up it looks like this. Again that is the Valspar Verithane and then my last color. I can, I realize I haven't used any Arteza paints besides those ready pours that I had tested but I've, I had purchased the you know these little tubes that it comes in I think a 60 pack of I think every color that they have and I've got a whole drawer full of them I thought you know what Jody let's start using them <laughs> so this is the magenta light and here it is all mixed up really pretty light magenta pink color this is my Valspar Verithane now the cell activators. I've got three mixed up. I may not use all of them. I've got my, this is still the Atelier Interactive Titanium White mixed with Australian Floetrol. I'm definitely going to use this. Um, I've got that gold, the uh, PBO Iridescent Precious Gold. I may use this. I may or may not since we've got kind of gold shimmers going on. We'll see. And then I've got my Amsterdam Oxide Black mixed up. However, I have this one a little thicker. I'm trying something new. I always mix my uh, uh, my cell activators at four to one. Four parts Australian Floetrol, one part paint, and I've decided to thicken it up. I did two parts Australian Floetrol, one part paint, just to see what would happen. And you know, and I'm kind of liking it a little bit thicker actually. So, if you're, you know, if you feel like your cells are kind of disintegrating or they're really thin maybe just thicken up you know go change your ratio up I didn't have that issue I just want I, I like to experiment so <laughs> that's why I'm I have it mixed up like that today so now we are going to go over and get started to paint all right I've got a new view here I'm I'm going to try doing everything from my spinner box I've got a new uh setup here for filming thought I'd give it a go but uh, this is a 16 inch round canvas I get at Hobby Lobby. This is the biggest one that I've found there and I found it, I think they have it online and both in the store. And we're going to do a, what I wanna do is kind of a transfer swipe, kind of as the background. And then we're gonna do a floating bloom in the center with, the, with all those colors. I might do just a few of the colors as the uh, background transfer swipe. And then we'll do all the colors of the floating bloom in the center. So I'm going to move you over and we're going to do the transfer swipe portion. I don't want to put the pillow on just yet. 
All right, I have got my normal pillow, my Glidden Premium and Satin. I'll put some on the board here. And I think for my transfer colors, I'm only going to use the Athena, the This Little Piggy. And I'm going to use uh, that uh, Australian uh, Salmon Gum, the Matisse. I'm just going to keep it simple for the background. But I really want to showcase this Athena. I mean, it's just gorgeous. on okay and I'm just gonna use black cell activator for this transfer swipe When in doubt, blow it out. All right, I've got my pillow on. I just went ahead and did it off camera. I've got my, it's my my normal uh, Glidden Premium and Satin. And I'm just gonna take some of this right here. And I kind of want to do four passes, similar to the uh, square, the square floating, or the, the square, the round floating bloom I did. No, it was a square floating bloom. Jody just doesn't know what she's talking about. <laughs> Where I did the four swipes. But I kind of want to do, let's see, um, and it doesn't have to be perfect either, because a lot of it's going to come off, but I just kind of wanted to space out four sides of the transfer swipe, and then we'll, we'll do the floating bloom in the center. Grab some more here. And let's go right here. I want to do this side here. What's left on here? And we'll just go. Like so. And that looks pretty dang cool. All right, let's give this a little spin. All right, now we got to do the floating bloom portion and I think I'm going to come over on this side, this way over here to do it. I think I'm going to 
like the colors like so. I think that should be good. Because as I blow it out and I'm gonna I'm gonna manipulate it a little bit. That was the Athena. This is the Praj Posse. The iridescent knockoff shimmer. And then here's the fairy floss. This is the Australian Salmon Matisse. And then finally the Arteza Magenta Light. I think I'm gonna use, I think I'm just gonna use the white cell activator for this bloom. I don't think I'm gonna use the gold. Sorry if my head is in the way. I feel like I have to, I'm getting into the pool. something trying to reach over in there. I'm going to let that pop up for a second. All right. I'm going to make a few modifications. See if I want to do anything else to it. Oh, shoot. I messed that up. All right, let's spin this up again. somewhere. I wanted to open up this bloom some more as well as, as this background. There. I like it just like that. All right. I think I'm good. I definitely have enough paint off. I like how it's, the bloom is just kind of floating in the center there. I mean, it's got all these different little wispies. All right. I think we're good. Hopefully that center pops back in. I may do a few more little swirlies, but I will, I'm going to get cleaned up and I will bring you over the flyover of this guy. All right, here's the flyover of this guy. Before I bring you down, there's some aspects that I like about it and some aspects that I don't like about it. I, I kind of wish I went with the black cell activator. 
However, I do like how the bloom looks like it's just floating in the center. I mean, the way the tendrils are moving. And I love how the background is. So I have I have mixed feelings on this, but I, I do want to see how it dries. Because there are a lot of shimmers in here, if you can kind of see from uh, the Athena, <clears throat> as well as some of the other uh, pig pigments and paints we had in here. But... See, I just love how that the flower looks like it's just organically moving. I did have trouble blowing it out uh, because <laughs> that was the first time I actually had to be on a step stool leaning over the puppy pool to blow it out. This was a new experience for me, but uh, I really like the, I, I love the flow. I'm just not, there's just something a little bit off of it. I can't put my finger on it, but I'm going to see it through. It could dry really awesome or, you know, sometimes uh, that's happened before where I've, I've done a painting and I hate it. And then when I draw it, when it dries, I love it. So I will be back once this is dry to give you the dried results. And I'm back to show you the piece we just did, the big round piece. And overall, I mean, it dried beautifully, but however, <laughs> I did have a few hiccups and I wanted to apologize for as, as I was editing the video, uh, you know, with, I have the new uh, video arm. I realized when I was doing some of the transfer swipes, my arm was totally in the way and you didn't actually see it flowing off of that. And that I am sorry for. I'm <laughs> going to work on those uh, work on those issues. There are going to be some kinks with this uh, new video setup I have. I still uh, sometimes use my selfie stick, uh, you know, and kind of move it back and forth between the spinner box when I have smaller pieces. But that was a pretty big 16 inch round. And I thought, you know, let's try doing it all in the puppy pool. So I'm working on it and I'm sorry in advance if, if I get some little hiccups here, but I will definitely get it ironed out. So, but with this piece, I, uh, it really tried beautifully. I was a little skeptical at first. I was like, oh, I don't know. I just felt like the bloom wasn't as big as that I wanted it, you know, how I had it envisioned. But I liked how everything was kind of placed and I liked how that Athena, uh, this little piggy was kind of in the background kind of shadowing it a little bit so let me flip you around i want to show you how it dried because it did dress dry beautifully and i and i like it more now that it's dried so let me let me flip you around all right here it is as a whole before i bring you in and show you more of the detail but it the, when i first saw it and it's you know it was drying i, I immediately thought tiger lily <laughs> just because of the colors and the way the bloom is so i've i've dubbed the name tiger lily for it and you know, I really love how the transfer swipes kind of uh how they landed but if you can see right here this is that Athena and it kind of gives it a shadow effect which I mean it's pretty neat and it, it almost looks like this bloom it's it's not so much a floating bloom but it almost looks like it's in motion and I mean the background I just I actually really I love it <laughs> Now, the more I look at it, the more that it's dried. I just love how organic it's kind of moving around. And it does have nice shimmers to it. I will pick it up and, and kind of show you. But it just, it dried beautifully. I didn't have any cracks or, you know, anything going on. Sometimes that can happen in here with, uh, with the colder weather. But I get a lot of, like, subtle gold shimmers in here. And then in that bloom too, it's just gorgeous. All right, and I kind of like, whoops, I kind of like this orientation. I kind of went around back and forth and, and I settled on this one. So I'm gonna flip you back around and give you my final thoughts. <laughs> Another thing I initially had an issue with was, you know, because I did everything in the puppy pool as opposed to, you know, starting off on my bench and then moving it over to the puppy pool. Uh, when I had to blow out the bloom, you know, we did the transfer swipe first and kind of spun it out. It was looking really nice, but I had trouble with the bloom itself. I, I felt like I had to dive into the puppy pool and I'm, I, I, I might have to work on that. I, I was... I was not so crazy about the bloom, how it blew out. I felt like I could have done it better uh, had I had it on the bench, but 
overall, I just think it turned out, it dried beautifully and it's really growing on me now. So I want to hear your thoughts, you know, on this piece as a whole. What did you like about it? What did you, what did you not like about it? And also let me know about, you know, the, the new setup I have. If you, you know, the views, yay, nay. I know my arm was in the way. I'm still sorry about that, <laughs> but I, but I'd like to hear your feedback too. So, uh, with that, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.